Since our courses at CCC Online are designed by our instructional design team in partnership with our academic team, most of the content that you receive in your courses has already been created and is already set up and ready to go for you to teach your course. However, there are a few pages that you'll need to change when you get your new shell. And those pages that you're responsible for updating are listed in our course readiness checklist in your instructor handbook. So you'll notice that a lot of these pages are orange. That essentially means that those pages are uneditable. However, certain pages are green. Those pages you are able to edit. So let's take a look at how to edit a page. And as an example, we'll use the course schedule page here. Now this is an important page to edit because when you receive your CCC online course, it's going to have old due dates listed. So it will be up to you to update these dates to match with the upcoming semester. So to edit a page, we'll simply click on it. And now we can see that content listed here. Now we can see that page. And if we scroll down, we'll click on the Edit HTML button. Now we can see that this page has become editable. So now to edit anything, like the dates for example, I'll simply click in here and change the dates to the ones that I want. Now you'll also see some buttons up here that let you make changes. It's important to note though that CCC Online's content pages are linked to our CCC Online style sheet. The style sheet sets the styling for the page to be ADA compliant. So it sets things like fonts, and font sizes, and colors to ones that match with ADA standards and make our pages universally accessible to all students. So with that in mind, you don't want to be changing anything in your content like the font type or the font size or coloring. If you want to make changes to the styling, you can use the bolding, italics, or underlining if you choose, and you can change things like justification or adding lists. If you change other types of styling, like the font sizes or the colors, it could conflict with the style sheet and cause an issue with your content. So when you're done with your changes, you'll hit the Update button. And now your changes have been applied to your page. So we're going to go back to the table of contents. 